Oak Ridge Cemetery is the second most visited cemetery after Arlington in Washington, D.C. I have tried to capture the unique beauty and serenity of Oak Ridge Cemetery in my photographs. Oak Ridge has many beautiful monuments, is rich in history, and it is an unspoiled repository of artistry in stone and bronze. I hope you enjoy this photo essay and it motivates you to take a long walk on the winding roads surrounded by majestic oaks. Lincoln's tomb was dedicated on October 15, 1874. Abraham Lincoln, Mary Todd Lincoln, and two of their children are buried here. The bronze statue of Lincoln stands in front of the 122 foot tall obelisk. His left hand holds the Emancipation Proclamation. Lincoln's nose is shiny from visitors' good luck rubs. Lincoln's body was placed in this receiving vault until the construction on his monument was completed. Some of the statues depict virtues such as faith, hope, and charity. The anchor is an ancient symbol of hope. According to the Arcadia book Oak Ridge Cemetery, the obelisk memorializes a scandalous affair between a defrocked minister, William Rayburn, and a parishioner named Matty. Oak Ridge Cemetery is the perfect example of the rural landscape movement started in the late 19th century. According to the Arcadia book, Oak Ridge Cemetery, the board engaged leading landscape designer William Sanders to create a design of winding drives and naturalistic plantings to complement the hilly terrain and groves of oak trees. The Vietnam Memorial lists over 2,900 veterans who were killed or missing in action. The Grand Army of the Republic, the GAR, is a fraternal organization of Union veterans who served in the Civil War, founded in 1866 and dissolved in 1956 when its last member died. In 1879, the Springfield City Council set aside a section of Oak Ridge Cemetery for the burial of colored persons. In this section are the graves of former slaves, neighbors of Abraham Lincoln, individuals involved with the Underground Railroad, and one who was murdered in the 1908 Springfield Race Riot. Jane Pelham is thought to be the first burial in the, quote, colored section, end quote. The weeping willow tree symbolizes sorrow, grief, and immortality. William Donegan was killed by a mob in the 1908 Springfield race riot. 
The tree stone marks the grave of several family members, including Phoebe, who was born into slavery. The simple military tombstone marks the grave of Edward R. Wormley, 8th Illinois Infantry, Spanish-American War. This new tombstone marks the grave of Private Lewis Martin, Company E of the 29th Regiment, United States Colored Troops. Private Martin did not receive any recognition for his military service. Included in this photo essay are a few examples of the typical visual symbols found on tombstones in Illinois cemeteries. The poppy represents eternal rest and a remembrance of the World War I soldiers. The beautiful calla lily flower symbolizes marriage and beauty. A sheaf of wheat can denote a long and fruitful life and immortality. It's also a popular Masonic symbol. A fully open rose can mean death in the prime of life, be a symbol of eternal love or devotion, or a symbol of purity of the soul. Lambs typically mark graves of an infant or young child, symbolizing innocence. The dove is the most frequently seen animal symbol in the cemetery. It represents purity and peace. The Easter lily symbolizes purity and chastity. Shaking hands can represent an earthly farewell, a symbol of matrimony, or welcome to heaven. The home of the Friendless from 1863 to 1904 was a Springfield orphanage that cared for thousands of homeless children. The pebbles are a sign that someone visited and paid their respects. The Latin cross is the most recognizable of all the types of crosses. The Celtic cross is heavily associated with the deceased roots and the Christian religion. The flared ends of the Maltese cross have eight points which represent the Beatitudes. The three points on the ends of this floriated cross represent the Trinity. The draped urn was a very popular funerary symbol and means the soul has departed and life on earth has ended. The drapery may represent a veil that separates earth and heaven. This urn on top of the obelisk reminds me of Princess Leia from Star Wars. Cremation was not widely practiced in the 19th century making the urn an interesting funerary symbol. Many older sections of cemeteries appear to be a sea of urns. The obelisk from the Egyptian Revival architectural period has a strong vertical orientation that points upward to the heavens. Cherubs typically adorn the graves of infants and children. This watchful dog guards a child's grave circa 1860. The small lichen-covered shoes mark the grave of a child. The name and dates have weathered away. Angels, these winged messengers from heaven, overlook the resting place of numerous graves at Oak Ridge Cemetery. This beautiful stone carving is on the back of Northcott Bench circa 1917. This white marble statue of Mary holding flowers looks downward over a family plot. The Roman Catholic Sacred Heart of Jesus symbolizes his love for humanity.